Please let Colin Farrell that are left of the original steam locomotive bridge. And this here is the Blackfriars Rail Bridge, which is also the railway station. Permission for the 2012 Olympics to ease the stress on our already strained public transport system. Except it wasn't open until 2013. Over on the left, dominating the skyline, you see St Paul's Cathedral, Sir Christopher Wren's masterpiece. It's 365 feet to the top of that cross, one for every day of the year. It's the second largest unsupported cathedral dome in the world, beaten only by St Peter's in Vatican City. You can pay about £20, folks, to go in there and learn all of the history encased within those stone walls. There's a bit of local knowledge for you. If you're here on a Sunday morning, it's open to the public for mass, so it's free. But you will find someone walking around with a silver champagne bucket asking for donations. Now, they don't want your coins. If you put coins in a metal bucket during Mass, you interrupt everyone deep in thought and prayer. So they ask for your 5, 10 and 20 pound notes. It's what they very cleverly call a silent donation. Off to the right, backside power station, the Tate Modern. It's free to go in the Tate Modern. And if you know modern art, I think you'll understand why. Have we got any fans of modern art on here? Yeah, it's normally only one. <laughs> That's why it's free. But it is one of the most visited galleries in the world. For the white and timber building there with the thatched screw, this is a replica of William Shakespeare's Globe Playhouse Theatre. It's the only thatched roof you will see in London as they were outlawed after the Great Fire. They got a special permit to have this, and they had to follow very strict regulations to keep it. But inside, it's as it would have been in Shakespeare's day. There's no lighting, there's no microphones or speakers. There's no heating, and if it rains, you get wet, because it's an open air theater. Now you can go in there in the summer months and you can see one of Shakespeare's plays done in the traditional way for around about £10. Now if you know the price of shows in London, 